it is sunny out here today. We're going to be in the upper 60s for the highs. Today is February 26 and we're getting close to the 70s here in central Indiana, which is unheard of, but you know. Uh, what I'm doing right now is that I am emptying my green stocks. My green stocks, vertical, vertical planters, they are ready to be moved where they're going to be. Uh, I am not going to do that in this video. Right now I am just getting rid of the soil that I use fresh new potting mix from last fall and I am showing you this because the plans that I have for these raised beds these two raised beds specifically nothing else in this in this space is for them to be taller this coming season so I already talked to my husband he's on board on helping me putting this together we are going to be adding we're going to be adding a frame to the outside of these two raised beds uh, about about a foot taller and the reason behind that is because honestly having taller raised beds whenever you're planting your vegetables or your flowers it's such a convenience and i know because i already have the other planters and the big one on the back and those are so much easier to harvest from and to do anything really in general so slowly because i don't really have the budget to do all four beds slowly i am just going to get these beds to the height that i want it and that is why i am emptying the good soil good clean healthy soil that i have from my containers from last year from my green stacks as well i am keep them in right here because i am going to be filling them up with fresh new soil anyway so i am not going to be wasting i'm not going to be getting rid of this when it's really really in great shape now if maybe i had some uh, disease maybe if i had a bunch of stuff growing in them uh, that was visible, maybe I will get rid of it, like in a heartbeat. But this stuff is, is so clean, you guys, so beautiful, that it's going to become part of my, my raised beds. Right now in February, things are starting to wake up, especially with these warm temperatures that we're having. Things are definitely popping up. The daffodils that I have growing in these containers, they seem to be happy. Uh, they seem to be liking it here. We'll see how much flowers we can get from that. My garlic that I planted last year is doing amazing. I think that here in the next couple of weeks, I am going to be adding some sort of fertilizer. Uh, this is my really my first time growing garlic here in this garden. My husband used to grow it for the last few years in another place. So he's very familiar with what to do. And he used to tell me to just wait a little bit longer until they are a little bit taller. So that's what I'm going to do. It has been raining. We, I haven't had to water anything as far as the garlic goes outside. So things are really shaping up to be great for this gardening season. Now I am preparing. It seems silly right now because I am getting ready to install a small hoop house in one of my raised beds where I want to bring my brassicas, uh, lettuce, maybe I'll plant some beets in there as well. Seems silly because it's 70 degrees. It is so hot here right now. I'm just protecting myself because I don't know, I guess it's wetter season. But I am going to be setting up a hoop house for those brassicas that are going to be coming out into this type of weather. I may not even need it, uh, but I'm gonna show you that really quick. So that if you have, so that if you wanna buy a few weeks of extra growing season earlier this spring, and if you have access to brassicas, then you can do it. Hopefully you can see me well in this sunny day. So I went to Home Depot and I grabbed a few things. Oh, there are my gloves. I grabbed a few galvanized clamps and some screws. And basically the galvanized clamps are just going to go on the inside of the wood. They're going to be secured by these screws and I'm going to put one on the opposite side of the bed. And that's where my PVC pipes are going to make a hoop. And that's basically is going to be our frame for this hoop house. That frame is going to be holding the plastic that we're going to put over here when it gets really, really cold, that is. Um, and, and depending how wide your bed is, that's how short or how long and also how tall you want your hoop that's what's going to tell you how long to cut your pvc pipes and you're going to have to play with it right here this bed is about eight feet long so i'm going to be placing i'm going to place four hoops on this on this bed i could do five i could do ten i could do three obviously just making sure that that frame is nice and strong to hold that plastic when it gets really windy is going to be key
And of course, I have to change my strategy when it came to adding the hoops, the PVC pipes to make the hoops for this bed. Unfortunately, the bed is only about two feet wide. That means that I really, really have to uh, make that loop on the pipe really, really close. And because of that, the pipe kept bending and just making um, this hoop house being a V house shapes, which is not something that I wanted to do. So I got a heat gun and I started applying a little bit of heat where the areas where I wanted to bend these pipes. This is not perfect. The hoops are definitely not equally shaped. I'm just doing this to the best of my abilities, you guys. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, at least in my eyes. Hopefully this plastic that I am going to be adding here when I take my brassicas out is just here for about a month. And after that, it will just be uh, something that it goes back in the garage. I am not looking for perfection here. It is totally fine with me. And the key for adding the heat to these PVC pipes is just patience because it is definitely something that takes a while. With these days in February being really, really warm, I am just trying to come out here and catch up on the things that I want to do. Adding some compost, cleaning up, cleaning some weeds. I may even take my hose reels out. I have to look at the forecast for the next 10 days and making sure that I don't really have really, really, really low temperatures, but I think that I'm going to be okay. Hopefully this video was helpful. I hope that you are enjoying your garden, whether that is planting your seedlings already or just starting things from seed. I'll see you on the next time.